What up? It's acting up. I'm outside. You already know. If you don't know, you know now. I'm outside. What's the deal? Yo, let's talk about Steve Harvey. I might be out of line. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I might not be. But Steve Harvey, the guy that wrote the book, I can't even remember the name of the book. I just felt like when I saw that, I just, you know how those dudes that's kissed the butt of women just because they ain't never had a woman and they'd do anything to get a woman. This dude, Steve Harvey, and you know, and I like that you, listen, when I get on this uh, social media and, and, and talk, I, you know, I usually like to bring knowledge. You know, I like to bring the knowledge. I like to kick the willy bobos, as they would say back in the day. I don't like to just talk about foolishness or dog people out. You know, my thing is to open your mind, enlighten your mind. But I'm from the hood, too, as well. So I got to talk about street stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Steve Harvey. <laughs> you all better know <laughs> I'm Steve Harvey, you know. Steve Harvey, wife, cheated on him. Now, if you were Stevie Wonder, you had to see this coming, okay? If you was Ray Charles, you saw this coming from the grave. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Steve Harvey had no clue this was coming. <coughs> <laughs> He didn't have a clue this was coming. Shoot. Like, you had to know this was coming. You know what I'm saying? You're Steve Harvey. Remember when Steve Harvey first came out? He was going bald, he had this raggedy teeth, you know, whatever, you know. I, and I don't mean to be dogging nobody out. You know, he was funny. You know, I like, listen, I respect Steve Harvey's comedy. His comedy, I respect him. You know what I'm saying? But his relationship advice, I do not respect one bit. I would never listen to this guy. Like, for example, what was it? Think like a man or something like, like, first of all, oh, what'd he say? He just not into you. That was one of his little sayings. Oh, I want to... He's just not into you. You know, you don't know what a guy is just, you know, everybody has, you know, everybody have their own, you know, relationships. They can't base their relationship off of you. You know, you probably wasn't the hot guy in high school or you, you know, you don't seem like, like Steve Harvey don't seem like he was one of those guys that was just getting girls like, you know, before he got famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, did you have a bad chick before you got famous? If not, then you you should have known that most likely this chick is messing with you for your money or your fame or because you got notoriety. You know what I'm saying? Then I look at the situation. His kids is like he dissed us for her kids. Her kids ain't even your blood. So you dish your own blood. Like, I don't matter. Listen, first of all, I don't I don't mess with dudes that uh, sell you out for some coochie. You know what I'm saying? If a chick coming out of her face wrong to me and her man right there, and he look at me like I'm in the wrong when he know his chick in the wrong, that's selling a brother out for coochie. I never, I never sell none of my bros out for coochie. And I don't mess with bros that sell bros out for coochie. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to make the next man look bad so I can look better in front of a chick. That's what kind of guy Steve Harvey seemed to be acting up. You feel what I'm saying? You, you, you get what I'm saying? He seemed like the type of guy that would dog you out, down you, to get a chick. I'm just saying. And, and maybe I'm out of line. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not. But... Steve Harvey don't look like the type of guy that was getting chicks back in the day. You know what I'm saying? For you to dump your own bloodline, your own kids, 
to take on somebody else's kids and act like, but hey, I'm not in his house. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even, I can't even say, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 I'm just saying, you, I can't, I can't even say what's going on in another man's house. So I'm going to back off of that. But allegedly, his wife was cheating with the bodyguard, his boy for years. Now, that ain't the first time I heard stories like that. Not about him. I'm just saying stories like that in the hood. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, I know chicks that brother got a baby by the other brother's wife or girl. Or, you know, you hear all those kind of stories. You feel me? So it didn't amaze me. You know, Steve Harvey was a funny dude, you know, from what I know. You know, I seen him from afar. I never really talked to Steve Harvey, but one time I I'll give you a quick example, a good story. And I don't like to, you know, I'm not a kiss and tell type of dude, meaning the the stories that I know about the industry, the secrets I know about the industry or things that happen, I keep those, uh, you know, they're in lock and key. You know what I'm saying? I... I'll never tell, but I'm going to tell you all this story. So I'm working at this job, you know what I'm saying, without without putting people's names in it. I'm working at this job, and my boss, who I was dating at the time, I was leaving that job to go work at another production company. So I thought, and so they came to me, they talked to me, they were like, oh yeah, we would love to have you on board and blah, blah, blah. And I talked to her, I said, yeah, I think I want, you know, they want to pay me a little bit more over here. And hey, I want the money. And she looked at me, she said, who you going to try to work for? I said, shoot, I mean, it's Steve Harvey's camp. They asking me, she said, boo, boo, don't you go work for Steve Harvey. And I was like, what? Steve Harvey's the man. That's the brother. Then she was like, no, boo. Steve Harvey over there telling people, don't look me in my eyes. If people look him in his eyes, he want them fired. What? Don't look you in your eyes. I slap fire out of you. I'm just saying. Don't look you in your eyes. Who do you think you are, Steve Harvey? Don't look you in your eyes. Back when you was broke, Steve Harvey, everybody on the bus was looking at you in your eyes. Now you got a little money. You in the you you got your 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 your, your your fame and everything's jumping off for you and you like, don't look me in my eyes. What kind of crap is that? So I didn't take the job. I made up an excuse. When they came and called me back, I made up an excuse like, nah, mm, that's too far. And, you know, I'm in the valley. So I can't make it to that studio. But she, listen, she saved me because I thought, you know, since I never met Steve Harvey and I, and I like his comedy, you feel what I'm saying? I thought he was a funny guy. I felt like he was a real brother. Then he writes this book. I get to see, you know, I'm watching him from, from on TV and, uh, you know, just being around in the industry and hearing little stories about him. And I'm like, damn, you you whack, dude. Dude, don't look you in your eyes, leaving your kids for some... I don't know if this is true. Allegedly, you left your kids alone to be with somebody else's kids? Come on, man. I had a boy like that. I had a boy with his grandfather remarry some chick. And then when he died, in his will, he forgot to include his bloodline, his grandson. And, his, and now these other kids are spending his money and riding around and selling his houses and doing whatever they want with all the stuff that my boy's grandmother helped him build. 
that's the kind of sucker sh Steve Harvey is on. You know, that sucker sh You know what I'm saying. Like, you going to leave your kids nothing and go feed somebody else's kids and make them popular and make them famous. Then when you fall off, if you fall off, who going to help you? Not the chick that's divorcing you, that's cheating on you with your boy. Your kids, your baby mama, of course she going to look out because y'all got something in common. Your kids, I'm just saying. You don't do no whack, simple-minded, bull crap. I don't, listen, I don't know where you're from. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying. You don't leave your kids for some other person's kids that you didn't drop your seed in to have those kids. Who's doing that? Steve Harvey. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Who's doing that? Huh? Who's doing that? Who's writing a book? Who's talking trash to all the men? Yeah, he's a oh, he's a punk. And it and come on. She she she's dealing with two drug dealers before you. Allegedly. She's out for the money, son. Son, she's out for the money. You got got, son. You was a vic. Allegedly. You know what I'm... Look, I'm just saying. Don't play yourself. You know? If you doing this, we've been doing this from the Big Apple to the Pineapple, you know? You know what they say. Hoes look better in heels than in four wheels. You know? So, you slipping and you're pimping. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying, can't you can't play yourself. Yeah, I was supposed to work for them, you know, and my girl at the time said, boo, boo, don't you go over there. This man talking about he firing people that look him in the eye and don't talk to him and don't shake his hand and, and knowing you. You know, you are, you, you're real. You're going to talk to him anyway and look him in his eyes. Look him dead straight in his eyes and be like, what's up, Steve? What's the dilly? You know what I'm saying? I'm, look, I'm just saying, don't play yourself. Pay yourself, you know? Stay prayed up out here. I'm just saying. That's that's it. That's all I can say. I'm just saying. Steve Harvey, make better choices. Don't be a simp. Don't don't hate on your man for some coochie. I hate dudes that just, you know, try to make themselves look better. Make you look low for some coochie. If they sell you out for some coochie, don't mess with them. If a dude sell you out for a broad, if he leave you stand, if you go out to the bar with him and y'all both roll together and he meet a broad and he say, hey, yo, I met this broad. Um, you're going to have to find your way home. Don't mess with him no more. He's done. He's cut off. You know, we came together. We leave together. Shoot, she jump in the car, too. Drop me off, then you and her can go about your business. But you ain't going to just leave me. you know. And that's what Steve Harvey seemed to me. Like one of those dudes, dudes that'll just leave you out there in the freezing cold for a broad. Stop playing. I'm just saying. Acting up. Holla.